What's up, plant people? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy, and in today's video, I want to show you how to make this. This is a real pressed flower frame that I made for my three year anniversary flower bouquet that I got from my husband. And I made this frame, and I also made this other frame. This one and i want to show you how to do it so if you want to see that stick around and find out don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove any of the leaves that'll touch the water because that'll cause bacteria and it'll make your flowers rot faster so obviously we don't want that next we are carefully removing the protective leaves that are right behind the petals so that we may fold them back so as to give a fuller look to our roses. I really love doing this to my roses. It just gives them a more fluffy look and just fills up more space. Every few days or at minimum every week, you should be cutting off an inch off of the stems. Each time you do this, the flower absorbs more water and it is recommended that you cut diagonally to increase water absorption as well. When you are cutting your flowers, I would recommend that you use different lengths so as to add more dimension to your flower arrangement. This just makes it look more wispy and interesting as opposed to just flat. So I like to place my favorite flowers first and then use like the flowers I like the least as the filler flowers while also balancing the colors of the flowers around the bouquet. So of course you know ranunculus is at the centerpiece. I first saw this flower earlier this year and I've just been obsessed ever since I saw it. I honestly wasn't sure about what my favorite flower was before I met ranunculus. I used to really like tulips. I still really love tulips, don't get me wrong. And orchids. I thought orchid was my favorite flower for a long time until ranunculus. <laughs> One thing I don't enjoy about ranunculus is how delicate it can be. It's one of the first flowers usually in the bouquet to go bad to be honest and it loses petals like crazy but I mean just it's just so beautiful when you look at it that to me it's just worth it. But yeah, it is a pretty delicate flower. <laughs> Honestly, flower arranging can take a very long time, but it really is such a fun and therapeutic activity to do and it just brings out your inner child. So for my water mix, I don't show this in my video, but I basically try to use distilled water or drinking water and I use, I guess, a spoonful of sugar and I just mix it very well. Then I add a little teaspoon of bleach into the water. Basically, the sugar feeds the flowers and the bleach prevents bacteria and mold, thus making your flowers last longer. Here's the final look. <laughs> Crumble cookie and star bees to finish the night. Okay, we're gonna go into about a minute of a vlog, but skip ahead if you want to see how I press my flowers so that I can frame them and keep them forever. Okay, so on this day it got so windy and it hailed and it got so crazy that a terracotta pot hit the floor. Like, how does a terracotta pot just turn over on its side? They're not light, you know? <laughs> so yeah, and then... The hail just got into my snake plants and it made it look like it had perlite in it. It was so funny. And yeah, it was it was a crazy day in Texas. Oh. Oh, and there's a chicken and there's a dog yelling at my dog because we were walking on his property. And then my there's my dog laying down because she got tired. She gets tired when she's on walks, so she just like lays down when she's done. And then so we take a break, you know, we let her take her little break and then we either carry her or she keeps going. It depends on her mood. And then here's her just taking her little, quick, her little nap. She was super pooped afterwards. And look at her little lip. It was twitching. She was probably dreaming. And then here's some white night at HEB that I saw and I was like, what? white knight or 
white princess. I don't know what are you. But it looked cool. I didn't get one though. But because I just can't anymore with more plants. And here we are finally at the at the pressing of the flowers. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make it as flat as possible and we're going to cut that stem as low as we can get it to the petals. And this obviously helps make it flatter, but it also removes a lot of the moisture that the stem is holding in itself. So you're going to get a microwave safe dish, you're going to put a paper towel on it, then you're going to put the flowers on that paper towel, then you're going to put another paper towel on top of the flowers, and then you're going to put another microwave safe dish on top. Then you stick that sucker in the microwave on low power for about 30 seconds each turn. So just like I'm showing in my example, is that what you're gonna do. Basically the flowers don't touch the dishes, they touch the paper towels and they're sandwiched between the dishes. You get the point. And so you repeat this process basically until there's no more moisture left in the paper towels and that's when you know you're done. And I would suggest that you use the same size of flowers and go from big to small. The last thing I did was do the small little petals, which didn't take many turns at all. I think it took like one or two, and that was the final thing that I did. And this is how it turned out. And the next thing that I did was I took some frames that I had laying around and I arranged these flowers in the arrangement that I wanted. And since I didn't have any floater um, frames, I just used a white sheet of paper and I placed the flowers on top so that it would be like a blank background. So here is one of the frames that I made. This is what it turned out looking like. Some people use, uh, I think, Mod Podge to glue the flowers, but I didn't want them to permanently stay in these frames. I do eventually want to get some floater frames for this, so I think I'm not going to glue them for now. Like, you can tell this one kind of fell. I think I had it like up here. But that's what it looks like. I used a white sheet of paper. I think it's the one that it came with and I just like flipped it. I have it in my guest bathroom. It looks so cute when you take a selfie. And here's the other one. I really like how it turned out. You can see even the detail of the napkin imprinted onto the flower. It looks so nice. I really, really love it. I would definitely do this again. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!